Okay, this video is just to let you see inside one of these Mira Dual Outlet Mixer digital showers. Um, just freezing on the panel so you can read all the numbers off it. I've already taken the lid off it, so that's what you get inside. I'll just go nice, give you a nice still image of what's inside, if it focuses for you. It's got an interesting design, rather simple inside. You've got a hot and cold inlet and then two outlets. Now I bought a dual outlet but I only used one of the outlets in my shower. I've got this additional box here because there's miles of this cable and it's an RG11 plug that goes in at the, at the back there that connects to the control switch which is down in the shower. I'll take you down and show you that in a minute. Um, and I didn't want to cut the wire and have to re-terminate it, so I just coiled it all up inside there. So there's miles of it. They give, they give you a lot inside. Uh, multiple components here. So we've got the control board. There isn't much you can do with that. There's a lot of um, surface mount components. Not very much discrete components to look at, and it looks pretty clean. There's no issues with it. I'm having an issue with this shower where it's hunting for temperature all the time. It goes, it rushes cold and then it goes hot and then it hunts about and the only way I can get it to work the way I want it to is by switching it to freezing cold, switching it to hot and then sending it to the middle and it kind of works. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's something to do with a stepper motor. So the water, hot and cold supplies come in here. You've got to put a little... Um, flow restrictor in the hot so that you don't allow the hot to run too fast this runs with a combi boiler so if the water's running too through too fast because this has got quite a high throughput then the water just runs like warm in your shower uh, because your boiler's throughput's too fast so there is a restrictor in there i've tried 11 liters per minute and nine liters my uh, boiler will do 11 liters a minute no problem so the hot and cold come in here, there's a stepper motor on the right up here and that controls the mix it then goes out whatever solenoid valves open there's a thermistor in the middle with the blue wires, blue and black wires you can see that goes up to that plug two solenoids and the stepper motor with the orange and yellow, brown and black wires so my first thought is the thermistors aren't they working because I'm getting these problems where the temperature's fluctuating all the time, so is it not able to read the temperature properly? So I'm trying to do a wee bit of research on those thermistors to see what the temperature, what temperature gives off a resistance, because that's all a thermistor is, is a variable temperature controlled resistor. So I'm trying to figure out what the various resistances should be according to what the temperature is, so that I can test them. The other thing I can do, which I'm not going to do right now in this video, is I'm going to take them out and have a look at them, make sure they're not corroded. And it's the same with this stepper motor. Because I'm putting it all the way to cold and all the way to hot to kick it into life, that's a little noise it makes a few minutes after you switch it off. It just makes that little weird noise. And I think it's just the stepper motor resetting itself. Um, yeah, because I'm putting it all the way to cold and all the way to hot and then back to a temperature to get it to settle down, I think there might be something amiss with a stepper motor, so it could either be something mechanical in there or the stepper motor's not always working as expected. So I'm going to take it apart and have a look at those things as well. Um, I won't do it in this video, but I will do it uh, tomorrow or something. But there you go, that is the inside of the Mira Digital Shower Dual Outlet. Quite an interesting piece of kit. Okay, I got bored, I did end up taking off the thermistor. Have a little look. It doesn't look too bad to be honest. I wouldn't say it's badly corroded. There is a little bit of surface corrosion on it, but I didn't say it's wouldn't say it's burst or anything. There's no hole in it that I can see. Take a great or more detailed look at it. Now I've given it a little clean off with the surface corrosion that was on it. It doesn't seem to have any problem. And I think if it was burst, if it was rusted through, there would be water coming out of that little hole and I would be seeing it. So, when you say they're not, it's not corroded through, so there's not that issue, but the thermistor could still be faulty. But it's pretty rare, to be honest, it's just two bits of wire. 
or uh, soldered together, so that's a bit odd. Bit of a strange one. And this is the control for the unit. So there's basically two buttons for the overhead shower and then the handset. But we never installed the handset and then there's the temperature, uh, which is just numbers 1 to 10. So if I switch it on, switch it when it's up, and you see it, it kind of flashes. While it's flashing, that's it actually hunting for the temperature. It'll probably just work when it pisses the thing with it. It comes and goes. Let's see, reaches temperature. Yep, that's a reach temperature. Now you can just adjust it whenever you want. You don't really need to mess about that. 